Steve Quayle, thank you for joining us. SteveQuayle.com. Well, Alex, what an intro. And this is probably the most pressing issue of our day because, you know, we used to talk, you and I used to talk at large about televisions and all the stuff they were doing with televisions. People poo-pooed it. And now I want to coin a new term on your uh, radio program. Let's call it, instead of conspiracy theorists, let's call it conspiracy realists. The weight of evidence is upon us. And I like what, and, and, and this is important, I like what Donald Trump told uh Oh, what's his name? The guy Anderson uh, Cooper of the Central Anderson Intelligence Cooper? Agency. No, yeah, nobody trusts you. Seventy percent of the people don't trust you. And to watch the liberal left and the globalist and the elitists basically uh, crawling out of their skin over Trump. What you know? What's interesting right now? Telling the truth is absolutely contraindicated in this country. Nobody do tells the truth, and so all of a sudden, Donald Trump comes along and tells the truth. And boy, the, the the fangs and the and the, uh, uh, the their toenails grow out into claws. But I think the thing that we got to talk about is reality avoidance syndrome. That's another term that I like to use. Look, Alex, they bastardize the English language so bad anymore that you can't even use terms. They used to have a common meaning because everything's being twisted. George Orwell said that was the Fabian Socialist plan in his nonfiction books, and that's why he turned against them at the end, was to remove language and turn people into politically correct creatures that only need a, a few dozen terms. Absolutely. And again, Atlas Shrugged, Ayn Rand, just nails it. it. She just nailed it. Obviously, she was involved with one of the Illuminists and, and knew their plans. But here's the deal. Even our television sets are not only watching us, but what you said in the introduction is so true. Infrasonic subliminal messages. If people understood that at one point in the, probably a decade, the majority of money in black ops was going to mind control. Now, every day we hear about neural implants. Every day we hear about basically the robots taking over. Every day we hear about cyber sex. We hear about virtual sex. We're, what we're, they're trying to do is divorce everyone. And I believe that video games now look i'm not mad at gamers but I, I i don't play them but the point is it is a mind control platform developed by darpa that's declassified yeah, absolutely so what what we have to do is basically get people to do uh, uh, an amazing thing shut down for at least six hours a day and and i mean some people are on i can just tell you by their emailing to me are on almost uh 24 7 and then they crash and come back but the subliminal messages and then when you basically tie it in with all the mind control, all the psychotropic drugs. And now the big the big announcement was scopalamine or burindinga. By the way, burindinga, the scopalamine dust is called zombie dust. It, you know, I remember talking about that 20 years ago and the glaze came over everybody's eyes. But the problem is, is that people now cannot think. I think it was Hitler said, it's a good thing for us, people don't think. I paraphrased it. Now look at, too, all of the news that Hitler never died in the bunker with Eva Braun. Never did. Even the DNA test, independent DNA. Now, why is that critical? Because you and I have used the term the Fourth Reich, the Fifth Reich, and the Final Reich. There are people that have uh, written books by those titles. But one of the fascinating things is, is that so much effort was being put in even in the days of Germany to control what people thought, to control, excuse me, what people did. And let me give you a good example. The vilifications of the veterans, because we got to get into this. It just came out, the warnings you've been giving, the warnings I've been giving, that 238,000, I bet you it's closer to a quarter million to 300,000, of vets have been intentionally denied not only their benefits, but medical care, and this is one of the most infuriating things in the world. Yet, yet, most of the congressmen and all of the Senate, especially the traitors in the Senate, which is the majority, do not even take up the cause, even former veterans. And, and when Trump made the statement about McCain that he did, in the past, we did shows on the POWs, the MIAs left behind, and his name always popped up on top of the cover-up. Now, why is this critical? Because at all costs, the globalists and the Illuminists do not want any truth coming out. That's why the virtual reality, that's why the virtual world, that's why the consistent repeating of lies on the mainstream news. All the networks are owned by the same people. Uh, you can switch channels and get the same headline news and the same word for word. They may put on a different blonde or a different brunette, but the bottom line is 
It's the same message over and over. Tell a lie, tell a big enough lie, tell it often enough, and the people will accept it as reality. And now they're intensifying the lies to a level never before seen in an attempt to overturn reality itself. I, I, I mean, we would think that this would backfire on them, but they obviously think it's going to be successful, saying 2 plus 2 equals 5. They actually teach that. Uh, that 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 you can keep your doctor when you can't. That raising debt limits don't raise debt limits. Uh, that white people kill more black people than black people kill white people. I mean, just absolute inverted reality, uh, just intensifying. And as you mentioned, just in the last couple of years, RT reported two hundred and thirty plus thousand U.S. troops denied care. Period. Every veteran, every veteran I know is being denied health care at the VA right now unless they were high-level officers. They are being told, no, we're not going to give you treatment for that. No, we're not going to take care of you. And we see in the movies now, the bad guys are the former vets. They're clearly getting ready for a purge of the military, a purge of vets, because they're worried about anybody who would know how to organize and resist during a totalitarian takeover including bi uh, biker gangs in Waco. One of the things that I think most people have got to understand is Fast and Furious was a big deal. It wasn't a minor infraction of the law. It was arming gangs, and, and what they admit to arming is, is totally different. Fifteen years ago, Alex, if you remember, there were ships being unloaded in the ports, the West Coast ports from Seattle. It was in the L.A. Times they caught containers full of tens of thousands of fully auto AK-47s. Absolutely. But what they didn't talk about was the heavy weapons that were already brought into this country in pre-stage. Good example. A friend of mine was a, and, and this is a contemporary story, a couple, uh, a couple of years ago, and he said he was on the Columbia River in a certain town. I forget the name of the town, but he had to do a, I guess, an electrical check. He was a power or lineman, and he said he got into a warehouse, and his curiosity was just provoked. And the, he said this, there were literally hundreds and hundreds of crates of uh, Russian weapons. Now, why is that critical? Well, the Columbia River comes right in pretty much to, uh, you know, parts of Washington and other parts, and they can come in on boats, they can come in on little mini-subs, certain areas, uh, depending on high tide and stuff. But this is real evidence. Now, I remember you 15 years ago saying they were secretly training Russians in anti-terrorism for the American people in Denver. And then two years ago, it was on Fox News, the Denver Post, and other papers. They admitted Russian troops were here training to take on. So how are we at war with Russia? But then at the same time, under the U.N., they're training them to occupy us. How does that dialectic work? And then I talked to folks in the state police, and Joe Biggs talked to folks in the Bandidos, they said that they're getting rid of the older motorcycle gangs that aren't part of the Mexican mafia in the future for a takeover in Texas. I don't know your view on that, but you mentioned motorcycle gangs. Well, yeah, my, my view is, is that obviously the cohesiveness of a, of quote, a motorcycle, let's call it two, uh, a club, okay? Because not all these guys are gangs, okay? No matter what colors. Now, you know as well as I do that that whole thing in Waco was a setup. And I'm telling you that even NPR that, now admits it was a setup. Yep. And the shots fired the greatest travesty. And I pray that some of the judges in Texas at the state level, including the Supreme Court of Texas, will absolutely step into this because those guys were held. How long, Alex? Some of them 30 days. They were grabbing people and the mom and pops in the town that weren't even part of it. Absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to ask yourself why. Well, here's the answer to your question first on the gangs, because they can form, especially the veterans. I would guess, now, I don't know the makeup of, of uh, those different groups that were involved, but I would guess pretty close to a majority were veterans. I would guess that. So once it's not a difficult job. So they're just worried about any organization, just like militias, just like they don't want uh, outside farmers markets or lemonade stands, any swap meets, uh, garage sales. The feds passed a law for $15 million fines on garage sales. That's Fox News headline. I'm not joking. Uh, if they find one thing that's been recalled ever. Uh, so, so yes, it shut down any, any public gatherings, basically. Absolutely. And, and this is why there's such monitoring. This is why there's such, isn't it amazing? 
They know everything you and I type. They know everything we speak about, obviously, on the radio. They, they know all this stuff, yet they can't find ahead of time some guy who's texting in the opening and giving his, you know, uh, Arabic statements. I mean, or, or let's look at something even more real. It is fascinating to me that if, if any state is hated by the current administration, it's Texas. You remember the story? You know, you remember seeing the images when Perry was governor of Obama meeting with him, putting his feet up on the desk. Well, showing someone the bottom here is a cultural flipping off of the person in total contempt. That's their religion. In the Middle East, yeah. Obama has those characteristics. And the situation that is fascinating is that, you know, the Army just in the last, what, 24, 48 hours, basically said anybody defending you should be treated as terrorists. And yet they denied they denied their recruiters the ability to even arm themselves with sidearms and said, pull down the block. Well, we confirmed it from callers, and we went out and talked to the recruiters. It's come down, and then later it was in the news confirming our report. They, I mean, the higher-ups of the Marines, the Army, you name it, called it, and they said, you don't even give them a chance. You call the cops and say you want them arrested for trespassing. You don't even tell them to go. We want to get these patriots in jail because this is the enemy. This is the type of American that would stand up to defend people. This is the scum. This is who we have to go after because the top brass are men and women that work for the globalist and who want to arm ISIS. Absolutely. And, and th now people have got to understand, when we, when we were reporting years ago, uh, and you started with the MAAC report and on the other uh, documents, identifying veterans as enemies of the state. Number um, one enemy. N number one, it. and said that veterans would attack every de police department. I mean, what yeah. an insane statement. Yep. And so the, the, the interesting thing is, is that in, in the years that I was on talk radio, I said it 20 years ago, now it's important to put this into perspective, because that's how long it's been building. I said the goal of the overthrow of the United States it, you're no, you'll know you're in the last stages when the police have turned against the people and the people are turning against the police. And all of this has been race baiting. And it's not the white guys. And I'm not blaming blacks, but it's it's the it's Department the of Justice. It's, and it's the media that foments the revolution. You the said on my show 20 years ago, 20 years ago. In 1995, I've been interviewing you from the beginning. You said they're going to demonize the military. They're going to have a night of the long knives. When they try to turn the public against the police and vice versa for destabilization, you know it's coming. And then once they have the first layer takeover, then they're going to round up the veterans and they're going to round up the patriots in the military. And they've got a red and blue list. And now that's all admitted two years ago. The Army admits internment camps, and they even use the word re-education camp. Why would they use the famous Soviet term of a torture camp, a, 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 a re-education? Why do they even use the same names? I mean, it's so naked. It is naked, and, and the obvious point in all this is that Somebody beyond uh, the Russians and someone beyond the U.S. government is controlling the strings. The real puppet masters of the world aren't the guys, even the dynastic families of, uh, you know, the Rockfallers, Rothschilds, and all the typical culprits. There are even people, or as I suggest, entities that have orchestrated this. When you look at the completeness of the plan for the destruction of the United States, you know, Michael Savage said border language culture. Well, he has to add the people, too, now to that. Great Wall penetrating the weather underground. You know, Alex, again, given the amount of people that were available and alive, just the population of the United States, now they're up to about 100 million on their different lists. And these camps aren't built just to take up space. Walmarts aren't closed just to basically frustrate shoppers. There is an integrated uh, plan underway. And this is what people have got to say. It's the bigger picture. It's bigger than martial law. It's the complete overthrow. It's the look at what they've done to the Confederate flag. OK, the, you know what flag is next? The U.S. flag. You mark my words. The U.S. flag will be considered uh, the absolute, I would say, the symbol of racism, symbol of uh, uh, everything that the United States has done. We wrong. joked about it two weeks ago. It's now being proposed by mainstream groups to replace it with a rainbow. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. And so we are at uh, the point where 
obviously, everything that is being done is, uh, how do I say this? We are in a position now where everyone who used to love this country, look at the, look at all of the NFL even, national, I guess, national football league, everybody's down on guns and the whole situation, uh, your and my disfavorite person goes on Pierce Morgan and starts blaming Bobby Jindal for, you know... Stay there. Let's come back and get into that. The end game is clearly here, the beginning of the end game. We're fighting to hold it back. Can we do it? Stay with us. Well, he's produced a new documentary film and is producing a TV series. It actually starts next week. First installment is going to be on DVD, stevequell.com. True Legends, Technologies of the Fallen Ones. Pretty powerful stuff from what I've seen so far. I've got to roll some of that trailer in the background, see the trailer, read about it, and the accompanying uh, book of a similar title at stevequail.com. I'll get him at the end of the interview uh, to give us uh, more details on that subject. Steve Quayle is our guest. We know this, Bohemian Grove is going on right now. Its final day is this Sunday, and they are doing occultic rituals, having orgies, uh, having homosexual sex. And the issue is it's the Republican leadership doing it. Not everybody that goes there is bad. Not everybody, you know, there is a Satanist. But it's a way to induct ruling class people as the doorway into the deeper cult. But even John Ronson, who snuck in with me but made me promise, the guy that wrote the book, Ministeric Goats, that got made into a movie, he wrote them. He made me promise not to say he was there because of liability. He could have gotten sued. He, I, and Mike Hansen stuck in. I had to not put a lot of the footage in to my film because it was John Ronson there with us. But I put Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove out, and he was there. He saw it with me. He saw the big photo on a tree of Henry Kissinger. There was Secret Service nearby, so I couldn't get the camera hidden and get footage of it. Uh, dressed in drag, doing something sexual. And the point is, this is not some moral judgment of this, not because I don't make moral judgments, but because get past that and just look at it for what it is. Blackmail. Even Spy Magazine, even People Magazine admits huge problems with HIV at the Bohemian Grove back to the 70s, back to the early 80s. Just huge, bizarre behavior with former presidents, prime ministers, British royalty, Dutch royalty, female prostitutes down the road at the hotels, 2,700 acres with just men having sex with each other. This is to compromise people. And it's going on right now. Same thing at Skull and Bones, homoerotic, worshiping the devil. And every culture that goes downhill ends up worshiping a dark entity. So whether you believe it's real or not, the elites do believe in the devil. I've been there inside for five hours. And I thought it was like a stupid devil worship play. Except the men were raptured. They were dead serious, more focused than I've seen people in any holy roller church that I've attended. And I've been in Baptist, Southern Baptist, Pentecostal, and you know, growing up the whole nine yards. I mean, these people were hardcore serious, and their eyes were on fire during the mock human sacrifice of a child. And we say mock because it appeared to be mock. People say you're covering up. Look, I, look, they found dead kids in the areas, but a lot of weird stuff. You talk to the locals, it's like one of those vampire movies from the 60s you know, with Peter Cushing. And, uh, you know, he's trying to talk to locals. They won't talk to him. I mean, it's, it's, it's like that. It's very Transylvanian looking, too. And, and I don't mean to digress. It's just that Steve Quell gets off into what they're into as well in his books, in his films at stevequell.com. Just amazing information there, uh, economic information, you name it. Just a great one-stop shop for everything out of this world that's connected to reality. You can get my film, Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove, and then it has the addendum film, The Order of Death, a two-DVD set for nineteen ninety-five to have it as part of your library. But it's also free online. It has a five-star rating through major third-party services where people have rated it. Hundreds of people have rated it five stars, both films. So if you want to support us, get the film 
at InfoWarsStore.com. Free shipping throughout the month of July. That ends in just six days. It is your purchase of the products that allows us to send reporters to Bilderberg in Austria. That's going to allow me to go to investigate how bad Europe and the collapse really is. This is important. I need to go put eyes on this because they say Rome is, quote, collapsing, London Telegraph. Uh, they say areas of Spain, 50% unemployment, collapsing. Uh, the city of London's running the whole operation. We're going to be documenting that. Uh, the Greece situation. So I'm not going to say exactly where I'll be and when, but look for that in the next two weeks, starting middle of next week. But before we go any further, speaking of free shipping, uh, we came out with... I wanted to have the ultimate cleanser that has Shilogy and a bunch of other compounds. Just the Shilogy alone has hundreds of different herbs. It's, it's like the built-up oil of herbs over thousands of years and then bleeds out of the rocks during the summer in the Himalayas. Very hard to get. Organic Shilogy, a bunch of other powerful compounds, zeolites, organic milk thistle, orange peel, cilantro, turmeric, organic... Lavage root. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. Fulvic and human acid to help activate it all. And it helps support the broadcast. Now, we have this phenomenon when something first comes out, it's a bestseller. Sometimes it's not, but usually it is. So this time I said, I want to order double on our first run because that way we'll have this for a few months. And I kind of sat around and planned it out where the next shipment is just being produced right now. It's been sourced. It's being produced to be here by middle of September. Well, it'll be sold out by Monday at current sales projections. So thank you for your support. That helps fund the operation. But it still doesn't fund it long term because it was budgeted out to fund as part of our operation until September. But then it's all sold out. So it does the same thing as if it's sold out by September when you miscalculate. That's how supply side stuff is. Uh, but thank you for your support. Deep Cleanse is available if you want it at current sales rates. Uh, we've now sold out half of it. It was 45% sold out this morning. Deep Cleanse Body Cleansing Formula. The liver detox, a liver shield should be back in in the next few weeks. Super Mel Vitality is sold out. It should be back in within a month. Uh, X2 will sell out today. I thought it would sell out by Monday, but it was sold a little bit slower. But the Nation Iodine X2 Proprietary will sell out today. InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, we have the uh, great formula with the saw palmetto and uh, the uh, other key things that are known to help the prostate and other glands. That's available. Prostagard, Knockout, the ultimate sleep formula, all natural, with 10 different ingredients, not just one or two, known to fuse together and give you deep, restful, regenerative sleep. Nothing better than sleep for the body. That's the best medicine. Uh, knockout is available. Again, for a limited time, we did a very limited run of that, not knowing it would be a good seller. It's been an extremely good seller. It'll be sold out by next week. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. We have 10% off all of the uh, T-shirts at InfoWarsStore.com. And we have free shipping, as I said, 25% off the Molon Labe belt buckles. I think there's only one of those in stock now. The others have sold out. So a lot of things available. And that's how we fund one of the only true independent media outlets that's not sponsor-based. We fund about 20 30% off sponsors now. The rest is PrisonPlanet.tv memberships, ball caps, T-shirts, DVDs. Uh, shortwave radios, high-quality water filters, and the nutraceuticals at InfoWarsLife.com. Find the great line of Longevity products discounted, upwards of 30% off when you sign up to be a distributor for $10 at InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com. Okay, uh, St Steve, I want to get into the news with you, and then I want to talk about your updated book and your new film coming out before you leave us. And you'll be back next week to get more into the mindset of the Illuminist and, and, and why they're building this, why they're doing this, why they're trying to block off alternative histories uh, that we continue to discover actually do have uh, roots in reality. Uh, but Steve Quayle, giving you the floor now, because I've been ranting some here, you wanted to get into this latest shooting and how they're hyping it. Bobby Jindal, where you see the election going, Obama says... He's going to go after the guns. He told BBC yesterday uh, in the next 18 months, they're going after Social Security recipients' guns, saying if you take a wire transfer or an automatic transfer of your check, that means that you are incompetent. I mean, that's in the FBI memo. This is really bold. Are they trying to start a civil war, Steve Quayle? Absolutely. Now, why is it critical that people understand this? The 
the idea of the war in the primary, the primary jade helm states, okay, and we know it's bigger than that, Alex. I can talk about Montana and what's going on up here. But more importantly than that, they have to divide the nation. Jesus said a, a, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And so we've got, uh, how do we say this, the 23rd mass shooting since Obama became president. And isn't it interesting, it had to be in Bobby Jindal's state, you know, Louisiana. And it's fascinating to me that the governors that care for the men in both the military or the National Guard in their states are now being vindicated. Just wait, there will be more attacks on the states. And people are getting, how do I say this? We are at a hair trigger, in my opinion. Now, let's get back to something, because if you ask me a question, it's really critical. The United Nations, obviously Russia and China, are the leading uh, ranking members by power, at least, of the Security Council. The secret agreements that exist that most people don't know, but you have been told, I have been told, we have been told, pretty much are, and this is what you've got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, they do not want you as United States citizens, they want you as citizens of the world. In order to do that, they have to take the guns. John Stewart was uh, on TV with Obama, you know, saying, you've got to take the guns away. And then, you know, being accused of white privilege. Well, here's the deal. In order for the communists, in order for the globalists, and by the way, communism is just one of the things that the globalists use, they want the complete. Now, Alex, here's the reality avoidance uh, thing that I can't seem to break through. God help you to break through it. God help me and anybody else is that this really is the plan. We can quote the globalists. We can quote the Illuminati until we're blue in the face about they want this many people dead. How is it that the disconnect does not transfer through to people? Well, that's because, again, of the subcarrier signals, infrasonics, blah, blah, blah. But the point that's really critical is that I would think most people who, well, at least one in three, if they have their way, it's nine out of ten who are in the sites would see the bigger picture. You know, I've been told that, I, and I don't know if you know for a fact that you're banned on military bases, but, you know, I've been told that I am banned just about on anything to do with the military. Okay? InfoWars is banned on almost all military bases. Getting to InfoWars and Prison Planet for about a decade, yes. Yes, and, and I mean, we've known that for some time, but now people are saying, hey, wait a minute. If this stuff is coming to pass that Steve and Alex, Alex and Steve are talking about, then why are they banning? Well, I'll tell you why. It, and this has got to sink in because first, you know, the very first statement that the president made was he wanted a private security, basically army. Uh, and, and why is it that those guys, DHS, are getting funded and while the military basically has to beg? Now, it's, it's obvious with all of the the uh, firings of our uh, generals, admirals, you know, senior military officials, that there's a different Pentagon now. And the Pentagon, unfortunately, I believe, is under the spell of the pentagram. And so when we talk about the war on the vets, it can be, it's not prophecy to say, here's where it's going to head to next. You just said, and this is a plan, and beyond anybody on Social Security that takes their check they're going to consider anybody incapacitated. They're going to have, you mark my words, they're going to declare senility or they're going to come up with something and say every veteran suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. They're going to... That's right. Just like the Jews and others got persecuted in Germany, they're now getting it ready openly to say veterans, conservatives, libertarians, white people are inherently evil and now need to be dealt with unless you're a leftist. You can see the takeover, everything the weathermen openly talked about in front of the FBI that came out in court. This was their plan. And since you raise it, think about Obama saying, I will go after the guns. I will get the guns in the next 18 months. We played that last hour. John Stewart says, act quickly. Take those guns, Mr. President. I, I mean, this is an outrageous move with them cheerleading to start the Civil War when Jon Stewart openly has armed bodyguards. I mean, these people will be held accountable when all this kicks off for their sedition against our country. So since you mention it, here's the Jon Stewart clip, and then I have huge breaking news. Here it is. 
What, what are you going to do? You know, you are running out of time. It is, you know, I'm to some running. extent. Can, can I be clear about office. that? It's definitely okay, not running for office. Sure. <laughs> but you don't have that much time to take away Americans' guns, declare martial law, and put hardworking Americans in FEMA camps. If you're going to do that, you better, better get, get started. You better get started. <laughs> See, they make a big joke out of it. We just had him on the BBC saying he's got 18 months and he will act. And now they're coming after the vets. They're putting them on don't treat list. That's a death sentence right there. They've built, in fact, pull up Watson's article. Just type in, um, yes, internment camps are real proof uh, or army manual. Uh, talks about re-education camps, infowars.com. They're like three years old. It has the Army field manual, how to process our Social Security numbers, how to break our families up. It's in the Army Times. It's in There it is. Leaked U.S. Army document outlines plan for re-education camps in America. They call them that. It's at Army.mil. Okay? So it's just like they first said the Planned Parenthood videos about killing kids aren't real and selling their body parts. Now they admit it. But then they had Salon come out yesterday and say it's not real and that I'm a racist, and that Margaret Sanger isn't. That's inverted reality, folks. I was brought up to hate racists. My sister's Korean adopted. But I don't have to sit here and tell you I'm not racist. The proof is I stand up for life. And I'm ranting. I apologize. Steve Quell, stevequell.com is with us. I've got to read this. This just came in. It just broke. They were confirming it. Uh, this is exclusive to Infowars.com. Tampa recruiting offices have been evacuated due to threat. The video is on Infowars.com. Unspecified shooting threat comes one week after Chattanooga shooting. All recruitment centers in Tampa have been ordered to evacuate due to threats that there will be shootings in the area. Info from recruiter, uh, Georgia resident Jeff Hansen stated in a tweet, and, and we did that. We had him tweet just to, so we could show it was on record. Uh, FYI, uh, we have to buy bullets. Somebody call our battalion. Uh, the threat to shoot the recruiting offices in Tampa. We are ordered to leave the office. So this happened at 11.56 our time. We've just been vetting it for the last hour. And, of course, we told you that there was an order to arrest. I'm going to skip the network break. This is so important. We told everybody that, that this was going on uh, a day before it came out that there were threats in Florida, in Tampa, and that there was an order to call the police and arrest people with guns, trying to protect it. That was then mainstream news yesterday. So we have all the names, all the facts documented, exclusive to Infowars.com, uh, red-linked up at the top of the site. We're going to get it red-linked. Uh, report Tampa recruiting offices evacuated due to shooting threat. Let's add the word shooting to that so people understand how serious this is. Uh, we've confirmed Austin's getting threats, or a uh, suburb of Austin. Uh, we've confirmed that Las Vegas is getting threats. Uh, this goes right into what you were talking about, the attack on the military. Steve Quell, sorry. Well, no, that's critical that people understand that. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell people what's going to happen. You're going to see a mass exodus from the military, and you're going to see a lot of people going AWOL. Now, I'm not trying to foment anything. I'm just telling you, and even the guys in the Pentagon, the people that monitor every word you say and I say, they'd better understand something, that some of these people are tired of their best friends, their fathers, their brothers, their mothers in some cases some cases, being murdered. I want to make this clear. The Veterans Administration is absolutely under orders to deny, to deny veterans life-saving help, unless like you said. And let's just say it. We know there's covert programs going on to kill veterans that were in sensitive positions by poisoning them. We know that's going on, too. One of the saddest things, Alex, is I got a letter from a, excuse me, an email from a wife of a veteran who absolutely has to have pain medicine. You know, he's so messed up, and please, when I say messed up, so much pain, he's begging his wife to take his life. That makes me so crazy that the gutless senators, the traitorous uh, children from hell are, are smirkingly, smirkingly keeping their silence while the greatest attack in history. We will go down, okay? It's one thing to have a Trojan horse. It's another thing to have a Trojan government. And the thing that's amazing to everybody is the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, our hate crimes. You put the, you put the video up years ago of, of the military, uh, you know, training uh, the, the, the citizens. The federal government is a globalist Trojan horse. It is the takeover. Absolutely. They're waging war on the vet.
Democrats. They're waging war on us. It's already here. Are we undoubtedly, with the Pope announcing world government, global carbon taxes, global communism, I mean, what is the system going to do, Steve? Is everything you've talked about, everything George has talked about, George Norrie, everything I've talked about with the New World Order is coming true. Drudge is reporting on it. Um, all these other uh, World Net Daily. Yeah, yeah. What What is the system going to do as our credibility rises and rises? Well, obviously, they've got to stop our access to the Internet. They've got to shut us up. They'll Breitbart whoever. And I, that's why I tell your listeners and my listeners, you know, pray for Alex. Pray for me. Pray for Doug Hagman. Pray for these men that are out there and women that are really telling the truth. And what I'm seeing, too, Alex, is there are some, you know, writers that used to be considered conservatives that are, let's just say this, they make them, they make Judas Iscariot look like a little leaguer because they are so duplicitous and so treasonous. Now, here is the deal. People have got to understand that they have to go into a full reality check. They can no longer... That's right. We were put into this incrementally. I think about this all the yeah. time. I know what you're going to say is in the spirit. We have been put into it incrementally. You've got to break out of it. You don't come out of it incrementally. You've got to break out of the trance. Even if you're already awake and aware, if you're not scrambling like someone being drowned to get out of this and warning people desperately... We need hysteria. We need stuff to, that's what it's for. We need the floods coming. The dam broke. Get to high ground. We need to get that kick in the ass going. Is that what you were about to say? Absolutely. And if, it, if anybody calls, and let me tell you, neuro-linguistic programming, if anybody calls you, me, or anybody telling the truth, and I would say empiric truth, the documents that are back us up, if they call us fear mongers, doom porn, those words are indicative of uh, basically trying to reinvent language to get people to dismiss the truth. Look, the whole world lies in the evil one. That's what Jesus said, okay? And, and that means that the truth is now... A, the most uh, avoided, vilified, nullified concept, I believe, in the United States and the world. Let, the, I, let me finish this about the United Nations. The United Nations is going to use the Russian troops, the Chinese troops, both borders. We talked about all the weapons. People Explain how it's going to work. As they dissolve the U.S. government, they have to have one program that looks legitimate for the troops and the Congress. But as you said, they're building a parallel U.N. FEMA 7277 takeover that's actually in U.S. code and already law to then use Russians and Chinese here, then our troops are sent over there to keep control of them. That's the U.N. Agenda 21 literal Hunger Games model. Go ahead. Absolutely, and that's why people are seeing intermingled with all the pictures of trains, with all the highways, are seeing UN vehicles. Now, this is something that most people don't understand. Those dumbs, and I'm not talking about the Senate right now, but the deep underground military bunkers or bases have so much more to bring out. Some of these bases are huge, Alex, and so what's going to happen is it's going to, as things escalate, and Here's what I'm trying to – my goal is to defuse civil war, okay? I want people to understand that. That's right. I want, the, I want the gangs to understand that you're being set up. I want the blacks to understand, and I'm talking Black Panthers, uh, to understand they're being set up. The racism – listen, when, when someone says Margaret Sanger was not a racist, that is the dumbest-ass statement I have ever heard in the word. You know, look, don't listen to anybody. When you hear something that says, you know, that doesn't sound right. Alex said she was. Steve says she was. And go read what she is. And she was. And for the record, she wanted the annihilation of the black people. More black. She said, I want every black person exterminated. Absolutely. So, Alex. And, and imagine yeah. fake liberal sites say in the same article, I'm racist, the Planned Parenthood video is a hoax, and Margaret Sanger was not racist. I mean, these people are pure servants of fraud. And of hell. Let me say this. We're in the same time period. People want to go read Jeremiah 50, 51. Jeremiah was the Old Testament prophet that said, Woe unto them who call evil good and good evil. How about the doctor that was, you know, trying to barter with baby parts in order to get her Lamborghini. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I hope she gets her Lamborghini because she's already on a fast track to hell. People, this should absolutely be astonishing. Veterans who have defended your freedom because you sat back and did nothing, because you sat back and said nothing, this is the enemy. And those 
people that have said nothing, how do I say this, done nothing, even begun to, to spine up, stand up, and, and do something, Alex, they're complicit in their own destruction. That's the other thing I can't seemingly get across. SteveQuayle.com is the website. Steve Quayle is our guest. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the Info War. I wish it wasn't true, but it turns out we were right about basically everything, except it's worse than we thought. And it looks like we could be two minutes to midnight. The enemy is moving. King James Version. First John 519, 20. We know that we are of God and that the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding that so we may know him who is true. So you got to be able to judge who's good and who's bad in the world. And we are in him who is true. In his Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God and eternal life. Again, and we know that the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Undoubtedly, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the power of the evil one. And the decision's been made, the death race has begun, the trigger's being pulled, and this is the big test. Everybody thinks you're just going to lay down and it's going to leave you alone. No, that's what the wolves go after first. And just great judgment is coming upon this country. So much evil's going on. The three minutes we have left, you're going to be on for an hour next week at least. Breaking more of this down, stevequell.com. Tell me about your new film coming out. Tell me about the book that accompanies it at stevequell.com. Well, interesting, Alex. Technology of the Fallen delayed due to the discovery of historical documents. You can go to your listeners and go to True Legend, the Siri, legends, plural, the series.com. We found when Tim Alberino went to South America, this is critical. We found documents that have not been seen by anybody for 450 years talking about the supernatural nature of the sexual perversion of the giants. People that don't believe this, you know, I can't do anything about your unbelief, but even Diodorus, famous historian, kind of an author, 400, you know, 500 uh, years before Jesus. Bottom line is, Alex, the subject matter of supernatural evil, and you just laid it out, the Bohemian Grove and all these people, you know, they're being promised now something. They're being promised the same lie that Eve was told in the Garden of Eden. Ye shall not surely die. Sure, well, that's the, I mean, I, I mean that's the Nephilim. I mean, uh, look at the yeah. movie Prometheus, where it's giants as well. They're just throwing it in our right. face. Well, listen, the, my new book, and this is really important, Genesis 6 Giants first came out, what, I think, 10, 15 years ago. I, the whole thing has been redone. 60, 70% of it's new. But what's fascinating, True Legends, the series, it's almost like we were given a, a time lock into the ancient past to validate and verify even stories that the Incas, to Incans and the Mayans and the Aztec told that was you know, basically in their uh, oral tradition and in their their stele is that when the giants went after each other to sodomize each other, that literally lightning came down from heaven. Now, what's a shot on that? Uh, you know, or what's the chance of that 450 years ago? How about this? Conquistadors putting their sword in the eye socket of a giant, and a conquistador's sword can be 36 to 42 inches, and barely touching the back of the skull. People say, well, that's just, that's just them making it up. It's a universal thing. So True Legends of the series, where we've got the first episode pretty much done. As a matter of fact, when I get off with you, I'm going to film my last part, and I think people's minds are going to be blown away, because when you understand who's been covering up, let me address one thing real quick. How is it that the Pope is pushing for a one-world government, he's speaking against capitalism, and yet in the same breath he's saying he believes in the devil and demons? You know why he made that statement? Guess who are going to be made out to be the devil and demons? Anybody who resists the New World Order. Again, truelegendsaseries.com. My book, Genesis 6 Giants, is available on my website, stevequail.com. And from the, from the response I'm getting from all over the world, people are saying thank you 
now. Oh, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it with my children. Uh, very interesting. Steve Quell, thank you. We'll talk to you again next week. Steve Quell, you bet. I'm Alex Jones, Infowars.com. Coming up.